Waterton Lakes National Park is a beautiful national park in southern Alberta along the Canadian border with Glacier National Park in Montana. Here, where the Alberta prairies meet the Canadian Rockies, you will find sweeping mountain vistas, crystal clear lakes, and colorful rock formations. In the 2012-2013 season, the park received a little over 402,000 visitors who came here to experience its hikes, waterfalls, and protected wildlife. In fact, no other national park in Canada protects as much wildlife in such a small area. You could see anything here from bighorn sheep to bears. This gorgeous national park was established in 1895 and was Canada's fourth national park. The park covers roughly 505 square kilometers. Waterton Lakes is situated around Waterton Park, a small community of about 158 people. With this little town being nestled in between the Canadian Rockies and Upper Waterton Lake, it feels a bit like a small Swiss village in the Alps. You will find many friendly residents here walking the streets and enjoying the small shops and restaurants. You might have seen some wildlife enjoying the town too. There are a variety of lodging options here, although I would recommend getting reservations well in advance, as this is a popular tourist destination in a very small town. I stayed at the Prince of Wales Hotel and would highly recommend it. At the edge of town is Cameron Falls. It is easily accessible with plenty of parking options. There are many trails you can take through the rugged wilderness, and one of them is the Akamina Ridge Trail. This lengthy hike will take several hours and might prove challenging for some. You can access this trail by taking a short drive down the Akamina Parkway to a small parking lot near Cameron Lake. A little over one kilometer into the hike, you will cross into British Columbia, leaving Waterton Lakes National Park and Alberta. Most of the trail is located in British Columbia, and that is where the most challenging parts of it are located. I only hiked to the provincial border as I didn't have much time to spend there. Nearby Akamina is Cameron Lake. Cameron Lake is a great place for fishing, photography, and relaxing. There is also a small hiking trail around the lake to give you a variety of views of this beautiful lake. The trail is relatively easy with little elevation gain. Be careful as grizzly bears are frequently spotted here. Driving to Cameron Lake from the Waterton Park town site gives you a view of the Cameron Creek flowing alongside the road. Nearby is where the first oil well in Western Canada was constructed. You can find this along the Akamina Parkway about halfway between Waterton Park and Cameron Lake. Getting from Waterton Park to Cameron Lake is about a 20 minute drive, depending on how many bears try to get in your way. Our last stop on our journey around Waterton Lakes is the Red Rock Canyon. 
There's plenty of parking here, and this is a popular destination, so expect some crowds when you visit. I took the trail that leads to Blackiston Falls. This trail was an easy hike with little elevation gain. You will walk through a beautiful forest of lodgepole pines along the way. Once you arrive at the falls, you will see several observation decks that extend over the canyon, so you can get a great view of the falls. The total hiking time for this trail is roughly one hour. I really enjoyed my visit to Waterton Lakes. I stayed about three days and was able to do a lot, but I wish I could have done more. Having just visited Glacier National Park, one difference between the two parks stood out to me. Waterton Lakes was more rugged and had more of a wilderness feel to it than Glacier had. At first I didn't care for this too much, but I began to appreciate it more as I felt like I was secluded in nature and could better appreciate the topography foliage, and animals with fewer tourist distractions and man-made sites. I enjoy both parks, but Waterton was a nice change from what I was used to in the other 21 U.S. national parks that I have visited. Waterton is actually part of the Waterton Glacier International Peace Park, which was created in 1932 as a symbol of peace between the U.S. and Canada. I visited Glacier just before Waterton and hope to share a video of that trip soon. I could share more about my time in Waterton, as there is much that I didn't get to share, but I wanted to give you just a small glimpse into the many things there are to enjoy about Waterton, in hopes that you will visit it and see for yourself all that Waterton has to offer. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.